quick video here this morning before uh, they come and cover up the ditches because we passed the inspection on plumbing. So this is always a good record to have either as many photos or videos as you can of things that were done before they get covered up. So if you ever have to go back and change something, you can always go back and look and see what you're going to be getting into before you do it. So all right so this is the back bathroom near the office and then we got the uh, ditch here running back over here on this side of the house um, and it's going to go over to Hayden's bathroom but this place goes right on outside the wall there and that's going to be where the main sewer line goes out to the road <clears throat> All right, and then we've got Hayden's bathroom over here. Some of you may be wondering why this toilet uh, line here is going right up to the edge of the concrete block. That's because it's going to be an in-wall toilet. Uh, meaning that the, there's not going to be no tank on the outside of the wall. It's going to be all inside the wall. So the <clears throat> drain line is actually inside the wall instead of outside the wall like normal. And then of course you got your your sink. It's always going to come up in the wall. And then you got shower. And this is just a temporary shower pan thing to keep the concrete away from that main drain and um, heat trap area for the shower um, so that all, all that dirt will be taken back out of that box and be able to work on it once it gets the concrete poured around it so all right and then we got this main line here it runs right down the center of the house come over here this is going to be <clears throat> the hall bathroom which is a half bath so this is a sink and then uh, this line here is going to be a toilet and so um, that's going to be a regular toilet not an end wall so and then we keep moving right along here this pipe here is going to be the uh, pipe that runs upstairs to the second floor and uh, will be a future uh, full bath on the second floor. I'm not sure if we'll completely finish that out now or not. All depends. And then we run right down here. This is going to be your uh, sleeve for water line. So uh, it runs over from, sorry, this is a, a wall over here. And it runs all the way over here to the island. And that other smaller pipe is the sink at the island. So you'll have your sink and you'll have your water lines right inside the island cabinets. And so we've got uh, that there. And of course the sleeve here will go up inside. There's a wall here <clears throat> that, uh, that will go up inside of. So. And then out front here, uh, well, I'm sorry, we'll just keep going this way. And then this uh, runs over here to laundry room sink. And then over there is the um, wash machine drain. So we got that coming in here. And then we'll come on over here where it gets a little fun we've got a bunch of different uh sewer drains so we've got actually so this main line runs all the way out to the outside wall it dead ends on the outside wall but that will be a clean out so that if anything ever i need to like clean out this whole main line going all the way down the house i can really easily and then this line here goes over uh that's going to be a toilet here and then um, that is going to be the vent on that, that outside wall. And that toilet pipe is extended all the way up temporarily. 
uh, and that was for inspection purposes because um, they have basically the inspector has to see whether or not the whole sewer is uh, line is filled with water and holding water so they filled it with water and then the inspector just comes by and gives it a little shake like that to see oh, let's see shake like that to see if there's water coming out the top of it and if it doesn't come out the top uh and it's already been shaken a, a few times so had to shake it shake it a little bit more to get it to come out but um if it doesn't come out then something's leaking somewhere and of course you you probably could see along the line too where there the dirt would be wet if any of the fittings were loose because we don't want any of these things to come apart once once this gets filled over and concreted over it's it's done <laughs> we hopefully won't have to ever go back in there but and there you got uh sink here sink here and then back here is our master bath shower so that's it for the rough end plumbing on the slab um like i said they're coming out today to fill all these ditches in and get this packed in good and tight so that uh we can then work on getting the slab done although that's going to be probably held up because we got a little change probably coming with the garage that i did not realize until it was built and so we're gonna have to modify the garage a little bit i think to get it just right and so stay tuned for <laughs> updates on that we'll see you soon thanks bye hope you enjoyed this video just remember to like and subscribe our to our channel we appreciate comments and feedback and uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video